It's our annual Thanksgiving show. Hey, where's the hats? Oh, let me get them. You want whipped cream with that? I do. There's only one thing that we love more than eating food with chopsticks, and that's photography. I hope you like like whipped cream. Mm. I need a little whipped cream. Hey, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Yes, it's that time of year again to talk about what we're thankful for for the year. And it has been a wonderful year this year. Yeah. We have a yeah. lot to be thankful for. All kinds of good stuff. And you know what? I, I remember when we did this last year, right? Mm -hmm. We had the turkey over our head. And we had this uh, these beautiful hats on. I remember how happy hot my head got. It but right now it's actually okay because it's pretty cold in the studio today. It's very cool Someone today. forgot to turn on the studio heater. But anyways, enough jabbering. What are we going to do today? We are going to talk just a little bit about maybe reminiscing over the year and some things we're thankful for, things we're thankful that are coming up, all kinds of stuff. And we're going to eat some pumpkin pie with chopsticks. Oh, how's it work? Actually, you did pretty good at that It one. would be all right if you didn't give me so much whipped cream. <laughs> now, my daughter would love this because she loves whipped cream. So we got talking about things that we're thankful for. Uh, both personally and kind of... Yeah. Why I eat? Why don't you tell us about the first thing you're thankful for? Well, I'm actually going to wait and find out what you're thankful for first. Okay. I'm just thankful for this year. I think we've had some of our best workshops we've ever had. I would agree. And it's not just that the workshops have been so great. The people we have coming have been fantastic. I think we've made some real changes to our workshop, which has really brought in a bunch of people that are very like-minded, that, you know, we go just like us, that are just excited about photography. People we like. <laughs> exactly. Now, people that want to get better. You know, yep. over the years, we've had great people like that before, but we get a lot of people coming in that are just like, where's the pretty girls that we can shoot pictures of? That's not what it's been this year. This year's been really a year about, man, how do I get better? Mm -hmm. and, and that's been fun. No, I mean, they, these have been just fantastic workshops, and we've got some great stuff plan for next year. Yeah. We're not going to let that out of the bag yet, but I think they just keep getting better and better. In fact, we say that every time. Yeah. So that was our best workshop, right? What What do you think? It's hard to say, like, the best workshop. Like, what do you think has been some of your, or one of your favorite workshops? San Francisco, those ones, both are just the advanced lighting class, the advanced portrait class. Yeah. I've been fantastic. Yeah, I was going to, I was just, the advanced portrait class was probably one of my favorites this awesome. year. Um, we've been doing some more of these advanced classes. Um, that again, smaller numbers. Yep. If you've been following our workshops for any length of time, you know some of you don't have a chance. You don't live in the area to go to a workshop, but we've really changed how we do things. Mm -hmm. um, if you're new to our group and you're going, I'd love to meet with you guys one day. If you're a guy that doesn't mind working with a big group and you're kind of looking for a value workshop, <laughs> I think it looks pretty good. Look at your head. Because <laughs> I wear hats, but there's somebody in our industry that has stolen fedoras from everybody. So I can't wear a fedora so anymore. Your new, so this is maybe I'll just be the new, they'll be like, hey, Sorry. here's the photo I pilgrims. I your very important thought. That'd be a just... good channel, photo <laughs> pilgrims. And we'll blaze new trails. That's it. I'm taking mine off. <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, if you don't mind the bigger groups and you're looking for a value, come to our photo walks. You know, there's not a lot of teaching involved. There's just a lot of good opportunities to be without like-minded yep. people. But our workshops themselves, they're now five to eight people max. No, they're good. They're great classes. You know what I'm thankful for? What are you thankful for? I'm thankful for, really, that's a great time to be a photographer. We were talking about this the other day. Like, right now is the best time, I think, in history to be a photographer because, and we're, we're not always all about the equipment, but right now what I'm going to say is it's kind of all about the equipment. It is. There is just a slew of incredible equipment out there. I mean... Man, you can't go wrong. It doesn't matter if you're a Sony shooter, a Nikon shooter, a Canon shooter, a Fuji shooter, an Olympus shooter. You can't go wrong with those brands. I mean, they, they've all got great equipment. Some of those new introductions have come out. Yeah. Just phenomenal stuff. People that have been micro four thirds are getting into the full frame market. It's just whatever brand you follow that you like, yep. it's getting better. It's good stuff. I, I'm excited about where things are going with mirrorless. You know, before, if you would have asked us last year, we would have said, Mirrorless is all about tiny compact. It's not that anymore. No. It's about seeing in your viewfinder yep. what's going on. Yeah. So I, man, I just think I, I'm thankful to be a photographer. Yeah. 
So here's something I'm very thankful for. We get the opportunity to go back to India. And if you have been, you know, had your head buried in the sand or whatever, you've been under a rock and you don't know what we're talking about. Two years ago, we went to India, started a photo program there, working with some underprivileged kids, teaching them photography, getting them excited about arts, mm -hmm. and helping them to want to try to stay in school longer yep. and get an education and break that cycle of poverty. Life changed through photography. It really is. And we had an amazing time seeing kids' lives be impacted. We I don't want to say change. We saw incredible success. Uh, incredible success. Correct. Right? Of, of lives being changed and impact. Yeah. Pretty incredible. Yeah. So we're, we're going back in January. We're excited about that. We still have some needs that we're trying to raise some money for. We've got some printers and some different things on our website. I'll put the link down below so that you guys could actually, um, if that's something you want to help out with, all of the money that we're raising goes to this program. Yeah, it goes right to the program itself. So and this, it's tax deductible if you follow the This is a labor of love with the chopstick guys and the additional yeah. chopstick. So I'm thankful for that. Mass over there. Yes. Yeah, I, I, it's just all this wonderful whispering. Hey, you know what else I'm thankful for? What's that? Yes. <laughs> it's the classes we've been taking. So we, we kind of had a big thing last, last year. You know, our, our year before, it was don't be lazy, right? That's mm -hmm. what we told ourselves. This time, it was ABL, always be learning. Yes. So we decided to actually take some classes ourselves on photography from some of the masters out there. And we've done some Joe McNally stuff. We've done Scott Robert Lim. Some of these guys that we really look up to as photographers, yes. um, we've taken some classes from. And you know what? We learned some stuff because... I know it's hard to believe, but we get stuck in our ways sometimes. So we've been doing some of these classes, and they've been really, really good. Yeah, it, it has helped my own personal photography mm -hmm. like tremendously. Nobody has a lock on everything. No, no. So I'm I'm thankful that we humble ourselves and just like, <laughs> actually actually take some classes. So yeah. they've been fantastic. And literally, just been we've been actually putting into practice the things that we've been teaching you on this channel, mm -hmm. and and it works. It's amazing. So here's something else that I'm extremely thankful for, um, and it's on our mind every day, and that is that we've been safe from all these fires. So we live in Northern California. Yeah. Um, They've been bad. Horrible this year. And right now we're going through the worst in the history of the United States. It's loss of life, loss of property. Um, it, it's unbelievable. But we're so thankful our families are safe, our friends are safe. We have friends that lost homes, but everybody's together. So and, yeah. and there's, not yeah. everybody can say that. No, and we, we did a show, what was that now, two months ago? Yeah. About photographer safety, right? And it had to do with natural disasters and yeah. and fires and what to do about insurance and all those good things. Yeah. And, and why you as a photographer need to stay out of those active fire areas unless that's your job because you just get in the way. It is a show that is <laughs> worth watching. We'll also put the link down to that below. Yeah. But um, it just – it. It was it was a show that hit home because yeah. the, the word I would say is sobering. It was sobering because it was the big fire that uh, was the, the car the largest, fire. The car fire at that time. Now it's been dwarfed now by this campfire. And, and but uh, that's in your hometown, yeah, yep. up in Reading, and and it really hit home. So you know, check out that show. I it was actually one of my favorite shows. Maybe we did in a weird way. Yeah, yeah. But it it meant a lot to us both. Yeah, a very personal show. So. So we just want everybody to know that you're in our thoughts and prayers, those yeah. people that are affected by these fires. Yeah. yeah. On to something a little more fun, though, <laughs> than that. I mean, that's it's just terrible stuff. But, but I, I talked about the best time to be a photographer, right? Mm -hmm. That's one of the things I'm thankful for. What I'm really thankful for is some of this new technology, too. And it kind of goes in with that Man, first thing I talked really about. things have really changed, But especially in lighting, right? So, you know, you guys know that we're, we're Interfit ambassadors. We love the Interfit product. We... We live and breathe it. I mean, we use it all the time. Mm -hmm. it's, it's great stuff. They just came out with that new Honey Badger. It's, I keep saying Honey Badger. It's not Honey Badger. It's a Badger Unleashed. Yes. And the, the old Honey Badger that they had that looks virtually identical to this one, you had to plug it in. It was a studio light, right? Yeah. Studio model. And, and we don't do studio photography. We don't do a lot. Uh, we occasionally will, but... But this one is battery powered. Yes. And you guys, you guys have seen all the stuff about the Profoto B10, right? With great light. <laughs> That's a fantastic, fan stinking. I had a light. chance to get my hands on one this oh, weekend before last, and blown away. So that that technology is awesome, yeah. right? Because it's small, compact, but woo, yeah, yes. it's expensive. <laughs> the thing is like fifteen hundred bucks, yeah. and you need a four hundred dollar remote, and then you know it's like you're looking at 
two, two, grand. two grand if you want to get started in there. So these new Badger Unleashed, three ninety nine. You can get five of them for the same you know, <laughs> price of the price B1. of the one B one. But we did a couple of shoots. In fact, we did our our uh, new Unleashed series is all kind of about shooting stories with this uh, this light. Yeah, it was good. That light worked really well. worked really really well. So yeah. that and then we we've been playing around with some lights from. Uh, Lighting in motion. Yes, Stella lights. The new Stella lights. Uh, you, you know, the first time we heard about these things, we went, oh my goodness, those are just expensive. Who's going to ever use those? Why would you need Waterproof them? Waterproof lights. Yeah, like, <laughs> why would you need it? Because you've got all this great uh, flash gear. Mm -hmm. You know why you need it? Mirrorless cameras. You set lighting up that's constant lighting with a mirrorless camera. WYSIWYG. Get WYSIWYG. Yeah, what you see is what you get. It, it, it's amazing. It transforms the way you shoot. Oh, and that gives you this freedom to move around and do things that, yes, I know the arguments of, I love Flash too, and I'm not saying it's replacing Flash, but it has its place and mirrorless is given. So, hey, we were, we were down in uh, Southern California, <laughs> is that, was that a week ago? Two yeah, weeks ago? it was uh, two weeks ago. Um, at the Sammy's Camera Sony V Alpha event. Yes. Hanging out down there. And, and man, we met some great people well, down there too. It, it was, was a it lot was of a fun. really fun day. Thank you, Sammy's, for putting that on. It, yeah. was, it was excellent. The, the thing is we got a chance to play with these Stella lights outside in the evening. And Scott Robert Lim, again, one of the guys we've talked about, brought out his Stellas, and they were really fun yeah, to play with. I mean, it, was, it was pretty cool. It was crazy to think that, like, you, you would see this mob of, like, 40 photographers and go, no one's going to get anything, but because of those Stella lights, everybody got a great yep. shot. I, I mean, just you didn't have to wait to set up to trade triggers to do all kinds of things. So group, group shoots, fantastic. They're expensive. Yeah. But we're going to be doing a review uh, fairly soon, so keep yeah. your eyes out for that. On some They're waterproof, lights. too. They're cool. So, you know, all the things you ever wanted to do, you want to put baggies on your lights, you yep. have to do that. What else you got? So, one of the other Probably things is... for one more. One have. more thing is, you, you mentioned it, was our new uh, Living Unleashed series. Yeah. So, when we were given the lights from Interfit to start testing and, and talk about these things, we came up with this idea of, man, these are Badger Unleash. Let's do some stories about people who were... You know, living life maybe a little bit differently. That's a little more unleashed than everybody else is living. Uh, and, and just but they're everyday people. Everyday too. people. These aren't celebrities. These aren't. These are just everyday people, kind of. You know, marching to the beat of their own drum. Mm -hmm. And uh, the idea is just to introduce you to these people, but then use the Badger Unleashed to create a epic portrait. Yeah. And see if we can push these things to the limit. And so we've got a whole series coming out. We just launched our first one last week. I'll put a link somewhere up here that you can watch that and uh, meet our friend Kira, who's so a tattoo it's telling artist. Telling the stories of these people. Correct. So I think we, we've we've got race car drivers coming up, and we've got, got painters and all kinds of neat people going to tell their stories. And then each time we're going to use these lights in a different way mm -hmm. to create a portrait. Yep. So it's fun. You, you definitely want to keep your eyes out yeah. for that. So. And there is, you know, links down below. You yep. guys can follow that. There's some Good Friday sales going on at Interfit that you need to know about, and I'll put the link down in there that you guys can click on. Not Good Friday. That's, it's not Easter time. <laughs> it's, okay. Black, it's, it's Black, Black Friday. Friday. <laughs> that sounds even more. Oh, it's Black Friday. Yes. So we'll Happy get... Easter, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll have a Good Friday one, too. So, now, but we're excited about those new Living Unleashed stories. Yes, definitely, definitely. Hoi! Fortunate questions. What do you got there? Oh, oh, it's oh. a fortunate question. A fortunate question for this week. So normally we have these shoved in our fortune cookies, but we oh, shoved it in a pie today. Hey, hey, hey. <clears throat> uh, this is uh, Andy from Concord. Oh, Concord, hey, close, close guy, local guy. I wonder if we know. That must be Andy. We know. It says I'm just an amateur photographer that like to talk. Oh, take portraits. I'm thinking of going to WPPI. Is it worth it? Well, first I have to say, you have to get glasses. I know. Because <laughs> he's not talking portraits. He's taking portraits. <laughs> yeah, no, he's talking Andy, portraits. Andy, this is one thing that I say every year that you need to go to mm -hmm. is WPPI. There's a lot of a lot of ways you can spend your money in doing training. WPPI is one of that I think one of the best values. It is the best value. And you know what? I avoided it for years. You know you why? Did? Because of the W, wedding. Most people look at that and go, wedding, portraits. Uh, I'm not a wedding photographer. It's all about weddings. It's not all about weddings. It's about 
portrait photography. It's about photography. It's so about photography. photography. If, yeah. if you are into portraits, you're into photography, you need to be a WPPI. Yep. I mean, it's it's definitely worth it. The thing that I love is you can do as much as you want or as little as you want. Sure. If you want to just go to the exhibition trade show, go to that. If you want to go to the exhibition trade show and a few classes, do that. If you want to go to the exhibition trade show, a few classes and some photo walks, yep. do that. And this is what's crazy. When you say go to the exhibition, like every aisle you walk down, you're like, hey, what's going on over there? There's a crowd. You go, oh, Joe McNally's teaching a class. And you go over here. Oh, hey, look at over here. This guy, you know, who else are we? Dixie Dixon. Yeah. We got, oh, we walked to the next thing. And you go, oh, there's Scott Kelby. I just, everybody that's into photography is They're there. They're all there. Yeah. And, and that's what's exciting. And you get Fro. Just, even Fro. Even Fro was there. <laughs> but so, yeah, everybody's there. And then here's what you need to do. This is why this is going to, I'm glad he said this because this is my little plug, is we are doing we talked about workshops earlier, probably one of our most incredible workshops yeah. ever. We're heading to the Valley of Fire. Yes, so we've got full permit access yeah. to Valley of Fire. And that's a big deal. So big, you got people yeah. going out to these places. We're fully insured to do this. We actually have permission from the state parks. We have our permits from the state park. Don't go out to a state park and try to do a photo shoot with models without it. We have friends that... Our friend got fined, what, 750 bucks for shooting a senior portrait in a national park mm -hmm. or a state park. State park. So don't do it. It's not worth it. No. So, yeah, we'll, we'll, we can even put some information about that. We don't have a link up yet because uh, yeah. we haven't. Well, we just kind of well, did. You follow the link to our website and just yeah, watch just us there. Watch Join our Facebook group. Our Facebook group, it'll be in the link below. That'll tell you the dates. It's got coming. a lot of links in this thing. A lot, a lot of links. Well, we kind of digress from Andy's question. But anyways... Andy, go. We want to see you there. Yeah. And if you have uh, questions for us, put them in the comments below, and we'd love to hear from you. You know why? You know why? Why? Because Andy is going to get the coveted chopstick guy's Ooh. sushi kit. Nice. Which includes two sets of chopsticks, the chopstick bowl, the chopstick holder, and the wasabi bowl as well. So yes. it includes the whole thing. We'll be sending that out to you shortly. Andy, check Thanks, your man. Andy. Hoi! Fortunate, Fortunate Questions. Well, if you made it to this point, you're ready for some food for thought. That's right. I've got some food. You don't have much food. You just got a pile of like. I just soup. have thoughts. <laughs> you just have some thought. But uh, no, you know, I we again we talk about all things we're thankful for. One of the things that my final food for thought is we're thankful for you guys, the viewers. Like our channel has grown tremendously in the last year. Yeah, more than double. And the feedback that we're getting is great. People are are really enjoying it. We don't take ourselves too seriously, obviously, but. Uh, we love sharing information with you guys, and we love your feedback. It's been just, it's been great. Absolutely great. Yeah, you know, my food for thought is just to say ditto. Uh, you know, you ditto. guys out there, it has been so fun to interact with you and, and meet some of you when we go to events. And we're just excited about what next year brings us uh, with our show, with our channel, with all kinds of things. We've got great ideas. And this truly is a labor of love. We are working photographers just like many of you. Yep. And we obviously, we don't know, so say, we don't know everything, we don't know anything. We're just learning it right along with you and we're passing, as we learn it, we pass it along and we're excited about that. We're excited about where it's going. Absolutely. So thanks again for tuning in today. Hopefully you're uh, all the way here to the end. We invite you to like this video, but if you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell. Yep. You'll be notified every time we come up with a brand new video. That's right. So until next time, we want to say, there goes the chopstick. And don't forget. Don't forget. Say, say sushi. sushi.